Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 16th of 2022. Well, it is titled Eiffel Tower prominence on the sun. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the sun uh, taken from the astrophotographer's backyard in Tennessee and shows an hour long video clip of this and it runs only 10 seconds. So the first five seconds play that hour forward and then backward again. And this shows the emission of a CME, which is a coronal mass ejection, one of the most violent storms that we can get on the sun. And it includes an emission of particles that will expand outward into space. Now the amount of material can be tremendous here we can have billions of tons of material being expelled off the sun and accelerated to very high speeds millions of miles per hour. So they travel out very fast and can strike and affect ob objects in their way such as Earth. Now this one didn't happen to be directed toward Earth. So we didn't get the effects of it which can include little things like Aurora, but can also include significantly more damage if a CME was coming straight at Earth with very high intensity. Now we can play the video and take a look at what we see here and you can see the turbulence on the surface of the sun and you can see why it's called the Eiffel Tower prominence for its shape somewhat similar to the Eiffel Tower material here is being lifted up by the sun's magnetic field. So when the magnetic field kind of snaps out from the sun, it can lift up material and take tons and tons of material off the surface of our sun and expel it off to into space. In a very minor effect, it will just lift some of the material in a prominence and it will fall back down in a much more intense uh, flare or coronal mass ejection material is actually thrown off the surface of the sun and accelerated to high enough speeds that it is able to escape the sun's gravity and travel out into space. Now, as I've said, most of the times they don't come near Earth, but sometimes they do. And if they hit us glancingly, we might get a nice uh, aurora visible. If they hit us head on, as they have done in the past, they can cause significant damage. Now, the last major uh, coronal um, uh, mass ejection that struck Earth pretty much directly was back in the 1850s. So it's been a long time since that has happened. However, with modern electronics, it could actually cause significant damage. So at that point, it caused damage to the telegraphs that were in use at the time. But modern electronics could with a really intense coronal mass ejection end up being fried and it could affect especially communication satellites. And depending on the strength, even electronics here on Earth. So here we get to see some of that activity, which is now increasing as the sun comes out of the minimum just a couple of years year or so ago and heads towards maximum. So we will start to see far more flares and coronal mass ejections like this over the course of the next few years. So that was our picture of the day for February 16th of 2022. It was titled Eiffel Tower prominence on the sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.